you know, much love to all the shooters as we try to improve our shooting by improving our understanding of shooting. This video is super exciting to me and you're going to see why. Just the ideas in here are pretty drastic as far as shooting goes um, of what's commonly accepted. But this video is about how rotation adds range and arc and how to use it in our shot. So just to start off um, with physics, basically distance over time equals speed. So if you look in this ball on the inside track and the outside track um, of a rotating, right, both cover the same, uh, in the same time, the outside covers a much greater distance, right? So the outside one is automatically moving at a greater speed. You think about it, you tie a rock around a string and you swing it over your head, right? That's the rotational power effect. Um, so speed is translated into arc and range on the release based on the release angle. So we can see how rotating around whatever can increase the ball speed, give us more arc and range. However, there's a concern that a rotational ball path is hard to aim, right? Are you thinking this shot's going to be hard to aim? Well, okay, so if you think that, how about this shot? So here's LeBron James, LBJ. Um, left shoulder as the pivot, left side, left foot as the pivot, left hip, right side of the body rotates around the left side, and the right shoulder is rotating, taking advantage of rotational momentum. However, shoulder flexion is keeping the elbow behind the ball and the ball's trajectory on a straight line, which would make this very easy to aim. So. This ball would cover a great distance in not very much time and have great velocity, great range, great arc, and think how easy it would be to aim. So this just feels easier to aim because that's how the brain works. I think it's important that shooters understand their shot, and for me, this shot's really easy to understand. So maybe it makes sense to you, maybe it doesn't. Let's look at some more examples. Here's Mariano Rivera with his right hip rotating around his left hip, we can see. Um, and this is how you generate 100 mile per hour fastballs. Balta has a rotational path, but he can locate with precision, so it's possible. Um, here's Steph Curry throwing a full court path, uh, full court make, made basket. So heavy rotation is just the only way to get the ball to move that far. Here's a centripetal force. That's not a word. Um, greatest control pitchers. Okay, so here's Clay Thompson with the shooting turn. That's why I said this is kind of radical thinking. Is turn shooting is the go-to. You start turned, you finish turned. I mean that this may help with aim, but again, like how easy is this L, is that LBJ aim um, to aim? Like this 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 has got to be easy to aim, right? Um, so this is easy, maybe easy to aim, but it robs you of rotational momentum. So we have a lot of basically limited range players. There's giant people who don't have range to, to the three point line and the little players who do. And the difference is, um, technique. And one of those factors is rotational momentum. So if you struggle with arc and range, add in rotational mo momentum. If you want more range, more arc, add in rotational momentum, try it out. Let's take a look at some pros that use rotational momentum. Here's Kyle Korver off stationary catch and shoot. We can see that he starts close to 10 toed and finishes rotated heavily. I mean, this isn't what we're seeing with the 100 mile per hour fastball, but it's enough rotation to add, who knows, a little bit to the shot. Um, here's Kyle Korver. It's flipped, so he's shooting with his left hand. Heavy rotation on this shot. Um, he was, was approaching this direction and finished through. Um, this aims his right shoulder to the basket, but it also just gives tons of range. So um, this is something that the best shooter uses frequently. Kyle Korver is big on the rotational shooting, although he doesn't do it as much as, you know, Mariano Rivera. Okay, here's me. You can see that I like to rotate. This ball is pretty high and pretty far. I think this is a cool shot, so probably cut this out of the book, but cut my, try to cut myself out of the book. 
Finally, we have Wes Matthews rotational shot. You can just see it here. So um, NBA players are doing this. So let's close this up. Does it make sense? In the same time, you can move something over greater distance which means it's being released at a greater speed. Depending on release angle, the speed on release is expressed as arc and or range. And um, you can aim a rotational path, or you could aim straight while still taking advantage of rotational momentum. So if you have any questions about this, comment, and we'll try to clear it up. Uh, we have plenty of other videos showing rotational shooting breakdowns on Kyle Korver. Um, and you should check that out. Um, as always, if you're interested in this efficient shooting, physics and mechanics of shooting, email energy efficient basketball, or keep your eyes and ears open on this channel as this thing's going to drop in a month or two. Right now it's 95 pages and there's barely any words, so this thing's going to be long. It's going to be detailed and it's going to be comprehensive and it's going to be all backed by physics and science and easy to understand diagrams so i am very excited and i'm happy oh, i'm excited to see you in the comments and in the email and go out and just be the best shooter you can be and just use physics and i think that we're gonna have some crazy shooters coming out so uh, it's very exciting times much love peace